That, that, that. All right. Hello, I'm Chris Aponte, and this is an unboxing and authentication guide for the Nike SB Dunk High Pro QS Strawberry Cough. At the time of filming, this pair is anywhere from 26 to 28 months old, based on the production date ranges on the inside tags of the shoe. These sat in the warehouse for the majority of the COVID-19 pandemic due to an oversensitivity about the name. I'm sorry, but even I know that Strawberry Cough is a weed strain and I don't touch drugs or alcohol. The shoe would have been a great release during the doldrums of the pandemic before the Jordan documentary ruined everything. Excuse me, bud. Now, this dead stock pair is a men's 10 and a half US release. Please understand that quality control discretions can and will occur on retails and do not necessarily discredit their authenticity. Some features can be size dependent. So consider this guide a solid example, but not a solid absolute. Now the box is a standard Nike SB Dunk multicolored box. The US release will have the suggested retail tab with the $110 price point in USD. Canadian releases should have something similar and the rest of the world really doesn't have suggested retail. The style code is CW7093-600 and the official colors are University Red, Spinach Green. The metric box dimensions are 35 and a half by 23 and a half by 12. There is a code stamp under the flip top lid in blue ink. A dead stock pair should have the wood grain pattern tissue paper over the shoes. The top side is glossy and the underside is flat. And there should be a YCM sticker on the inside of the box. This pair has the two extra lace bags neatly attached to the right shoe and the top medial lace hole. A dead stock pair should be factory laced all the way up to right below the top lace hole and that includes the collar flaps. Under UV light, glue near the midsole join is normal. The white thread on the strawberry figure should light up while the rest should not light up. The top section of the tongue should reveal some green. And a word on UV light testing. UV light testing can be a great authentication tool, but it should not be your be all end all. Many replicas will pass a UV light test. And if you rely solely on a UV light test, that is a great way to get burned on a replica. The squeeze test, where you squeeze the outsole under the back of the toe box, should have lots of resistance. The clear outsole has a frost finish. Imperfections revealed under here were surprisingly minimal, very clean. There is a branded true phylon unit in the center. The upper consists of composite leather, nylon, long nap suede, and velour. The strawberry figure measures roughly 3.2 to 3.4 centimeters head to toe and on the right shoe is centered under where the back of the swoosh and the collar flap meet. But on the left shoe is a little further in the front. So deviations do occur on retails. The detail and the edge fidelity on the strawberry figure are both excellent. I wanna show you the tongue here, but the only way to do that is to almost fully unlace the shoe. The nylon tongue fades from light red to white. The undersides of the collar flaps are green velour, and the inner collar all the way down to the heel is an off-white velour. Now the insoles are standard fitted gray foam dunk insoles with padding on the forefoot and a zoom air unit on the heel. There is mirrored strawberry figure artwork on the top, and the detail is impressive for an insole. Nike SB screen printed branding on the heel in red and the edge fidelity is excellent. The size tag factory code on the top right is VH and the security code over made in China is different on both shoes. And on the footbed we have a nylon strobel with one visible guide hole, a decent amount of white stitching. Printing on the strobel is normal. Papi has to say one more thing into the camera, okay? okay. If you thought this authentication guide was helpful, please give a like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for all future authentication guides.